Did you think Star Wars was over? Well, not yet. Ahsoka might have just been greenlit for season two. Can you believe it? All right, Nick, here's the report. Comicbookmovie.com, and it's all over the place. One of the big insiders on Twitter posted that Ahsoka has been greenlit by Lucasfilm for production season two. They're moving studios, they're moving over to the UK, and they are going to be making the second season of Ahsoka. Good idea, bad idea. I can even show you the tweet down here. Uh, but, yep, there it is. My time to shine. Hello. Huge, uh, huge Twitter platform. He leaks things all the time. Got a, got a track record of success in doing so. And he said, Ahsoka, Ahsoka Season 2 is a go. And I'm going to tell you what I think. It's a horrible idea. More, There will be less people watch Ahsoka Season 2 than Season 1. I agree. 100%. We could just end the video right now. Yeah. Good video, guys. <laughs> See you on the next one. <laughs> no. But, so look, Rosario, I have no problem with her. Yeah, Hayden no. Christensen being back is awesome. Is yeah. awesome. Uh, other opportunities for other characters who could show up. Could we see Mando? Could we see a Grogu? Could we mm-hmm. see a, you know, we know we're going to get Thrawn. They got to continue Thrawn. He's got to be something. Yeah. Dave Filoni is apparently making a movie, by the way, uh, you know, wrapping all of this up. And right now, we're nowhere close to wrapping anything up. Th- the entire season, Thrawn finally got out of captivity or being stuck. It yeah. took all season to do that. So mm. is this show worthy of a season two? Do we trust Filoni to improve his storytelling? Are more people going to tune in and watch this iteration of Star Wars as it continues to decline? Nick, the numbers don't lie. Uh, Man, I, I am so done with Disney Star Wars. I don't care about any of these shows. I, I, I literally don't care. They could come out. And of course, we're going to cover it. We'll, we're going to cover it. We're going to watch it. We'll be watching it. We're, and if we'll it's good, it. we'll say it's good. Yeah. and, and we'll Wait, give I want it to be good. Yeah. It's but just, I'm not going to lose an ounce of sleep. I'm sorry I keep interrupting you, but I'm so passionate about this. Yeah. It's just, it's it's not going to be good. I, I have no faith it's going to be good. Uh, no. I, I have, you know, when you were sitting there talking ab- about this, you know what picture uh, came in my mind is Disney is like Sylvester Stallone in that movie Cliffhanger. When he's on the mountain trying to stay warm and he's throwing piles of money into the fire. That's, that's Disney. They're taking piles of money. And throwing it into the fire. Uh, because this show, uh, this season one, and what they're doing with Star Wars is yeah. absolute trash. And they are flushing money down the toilet by sticking on this ridiculous path. Now, if you like it, you know, good for you. I'm glad yeah. that, that you find some enjoyment in it. Sure. But but there are not enough of you out there. There are not. There's you not enough of you out there that are liking this. And the thing is, if they made a show that, that we supported and liked... I guarantee you way more people would like it and all the people that currently like it would probably like it even more. You know what it should have been? Ahsoka season one should literally have been Rebel season six. Yeah. And if it was Rebel season six, it would be better. Yeah, yeah. It it Uh, would have been better. I I mean, I wouldn't have been as like, you know, excited about it. You know, and they had me fooled. Like, let's just be totally honest here. And some of you are going to wreck me in the comments, and that's totally fine. Bring it. I got alligator skin, son. You can't you go. Come tell me, tell me. But after the first two episodes, they had me fooled. I thought Filoni was pulling it off. I was behind it. I had the first two episodes combined scored as like a seven and a half out of ten. I was good. I was looking forward to what is going on. And the more, the further we went, the worse it got. And the story was lost. I said it before the season started. This season of Ahsoka was the trial of Dave Filoni. Is he worth his salt as a creative in the live action space? He proved for me he is not. Same. I I thought he, now, 
uh, give credit where credit's due. He did some good stuff with Clone Wars. Oh, he did no some doubt. good stuff with Rebels. In Great the, things. In the animation space. You know, the, the, the stuff that he did in the first two seasons of Mando, his contributions there were, were good. You know, mm. I had no problem. Um, you know, and going into this, I was just like, I, I was standing back. Like, I wasn't hyped. I wasn't excited. But I wasn't like, this is going to be trash. I was just <laughs> like, I'm, I'm standing back. I'm just going to see what we get. Yeah. And then make my decision. And he sure. completely was a disappointment and a failure, in my opinion, um, to the Star Wars brand and to the show and to these characters. I don't think he did them justice. Like, I thought it was complete garbage. Well, look, the like, numbers don't lie. Every yeah. show that comes out, there are fewer people watching. And, there and was a drop the drop highest drop. demographic was older uh, Gen Z. No. no, X. Wait. One of Z. them. One of them. Millennials. Yeah. It was millennials. That was it. Sorry. Older millennials are the people that, that this reson resonated with. So it's your fault, older millennials. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, is like they're not bringing in new eyes to Star Wars. And here's the thing. They're not bringing in new fans. At the all. new eyes used to be going to Marvel. They're not doing that anymore either. Mm -mm. So people are starving for entertainment to go and be a part of and be insatiated with, you know, surrounded by. And right now, there's just nothing out there. So, One but piece. Disney has failed. <laughs> One Piece, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm. Uh, but the you know, there's only eight episodes right now. Yeah. So there's not enough out there. You know, uh, Star Wars and Marvel got too big for the company, in my opinion. And Dave Filoni as a storyteller, did not improve on what Favreau and Filoni did in season three of Mando. Things uh -oh. are declining. Yeah. And I never knew I would be saying we need, we actually need uh, Andor season two. And I'm not hyped about Andor season two, but I know, uh -huh. I know that I know that I know it's at least going to have a coherent, solid story. It might not feel like Star Wars. It might be different. It might be totally different, but at least it'll make sense. Maybe we'll get Serial Guy again, too. Uh, he was a lot of fun. In that. Uncle Harlow, Serial Guy, all that. Yeah, yeah. so good. So yeah. good. <laughs> guys, let us know in the comments. We are your Echo Base Network. See you on the next one. Bye, guys.